Hello, beautiful people. It's popping in the streets. It's your girl, Nivea Silva, and I'm back with another video. Um, today, we are going to be doing a story time. I have some rose over here. This is my favorite rose. I only drink box wine, don't tell anyone. Um, first of all, can I say thank you for watching my videos? because I've noticed that my engagement is actually going up on my videos, my viewership is going up and I'm so happy. Also, my subscribers are going up, so be, 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 be grateful. Thank you very much. So this week, I think this week is going to be like a social media week. We'll talk about online things. Like it would be nice if I can get into a, a routine of like having topics for each week, but I guess it seems like everything is quite organic at the moment, so I'm happy with, with that. Story time in terms of how being on social media has affected my personal life. Uh, to be honest, these are all things that I have like kind of done. Like none of it is on 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 the people who are affected by my choices. However, I feel like because 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 I, I am a brand, I consider myself to be a brand and I also want to hold myself to a particular standard in regards to whatever being a brand is about for me, not in regards to other people's perceptions of what a brand should be like for me. But given that I hold myself to such a high standard and uh, even like with my family, I hold my family members to a high standard, like my immediate family members, I hold them accountable for everything. So in terms of like views that I have about particular issues, I raise them with my family and we talk about them. Uh, we don't have to have the exact same view, but at some point we need to come to a a, a place of dignity in, in, whatever talk, in, what, in whatever we are talking about. That's a very vague way of saying me and my family basically have similar views and I prefer it that way. Um, we may not see eye to eye on every single thing, so we may not do every single thing. However, there's very little problematics in my, my core family right now. And I am extremely grateful for that, dude. Because it allows me to be Sorry, this hair. Uh. It allows me to be a pretty authentic person. Like, I don't, there, there's no space that I interact with that is not congruent or, yeah, that is not congruent with who I am. Not, not congruent, parallel. <laughs> Congruency is like this. Uh, yeah, parallel to who I am. So we need to be going in the same direction. Otherwise, yeah, it's not really working out. Oh, that's a long way of saying, dude. Like, in my personal life, I feel like there were a lot of people who do not gel with my political stance in life. My ethical stance in life, with who I am as a person and the, 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 the views that I have. Um, <clears throat> so, I had to distance myself from those people. Simple. Like, literally. Either unfollow or blog or uh, we have very uncomfortable com conversations like in real life to the point where actually I'm, I'm, I'm questioning whether or not we should be friends. And um, uh, yeah, basically it's simple, simple dude. I hold people accountable. If I see that you're, 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 you're not, <sighs> yeah, you're moving a bit weird you're moving very strange if i see that i have to ask and i have to bring it up you know what i'm saying i'd like to say shout out to my friends because honestly i learned this through like varsity my varsity friends that i made honestly changed my whole life like i would not be this person this aware person that i am like self-aware human being that i am if i did not meet my friends if they did not hold me accountable um, if we did not have like the opportunity to have like difficult conversations um, and I think it's also amazing because I don't have heterosexual friends I only have one friend um, who's heterosexual um, and 
to be honest i think that's the biggest blessing that, that ever came into my life because if i think about it in high school in high school i wasn't surrounded by many queer people i, I mean yes but misogynistic ones so like what is the point of that <laughs> So when I moved to Varsity and I met my friends, I was surrounded by so many different types of people from so many different like backgrounds. And for once, I really had to hold myself accountable like to the type of person that I was and the growth that I needed to go through. So I think uh, I think like people from my old life, like who were close to me at the, around the time that I was in Varsity would say that I changed a lot because of weed, which is like a very ignorant statement. It just shows how much you, you really don't know me or didn't know me. Um, and, and unfortunately, I really felt bad. Like, dude, I really felt bad. Uh, but now I understand where it's coming from. And um, yeah, I don't, feel, I don't feel shit like about ignorant statements yeah talking about weed i think weed in regards to my social media because now i'm a stoner like lit that one had an effect on my family my extended family members also the only fans and sex work aspect also became a problem and i think if i'm being completely honest with myself nubia silver hair was a child born from wanting to please my family like it was the best job or the best thing that i could do to make everyone around me feel proud of me and maybe it wasn't necessarily what i wanted to do because i remember telling my mom back in the days that um i did not want to be an artist who paints like i don't like manual labor Anything that takes a lot of labor, I don't enjoy it. But if I have to use my mind, if we have to create ideas, conceptualize, I can do that every single day, all day. So I'm working towards like being a director rather than someone who's actually doing the manual work. Like I can't. Over time, I just can't maintain the same quality based because it's not something that I enjoy. I was convinced that Nubia Silver Hair was going to be like the turning point for me. Like I really enjoyed making wigs, dude. Uh, but I forgot who I was. I forgot who I was. Um, I don't enjoy manual labor. And then on top of that, uh, I don't enjoy uh, not pleasing people all the time. And that was, a, that was a big problem. Like as soon as now I'm in a place, as soon as I was in a place where I wasn't pleasing people all the time, it really just made me feel trash <sighs> that's a long way of saying like i i decided you know what let my social media be a, a separate entity to who i am as a human being because i thought i had graduated to a point of separating nubia silva and nubia from each other um, my next video is going to be about um, my toxic relationship with validation and invalidation um, because Nubia Silva and Nubia like are really two different things and my relationship with being validated uh, created the separation in my personality so yeah let me let social media be a separate thing completely um, yeah therefore let me unfollow everyone and let's see how people react based on that Obviously at that time well not obviously but at that time I didn't know that it was gonna trigger abandonment issues in me um, Like seeing people like unfollow me uh, Really did trigger some shit that I was not prepared for in in hindsight But it was a really good experience just to see how people move. I think I think that was the best experience I've ever had because now I can see how social media this game is being played better than I was before. I thought we were genuinely out here loving each other, but no, that's not the vibe. I have done a lot of things in my life to make me feel better. And that has had consequences on other people. And be it good or bad, because one could say like the friendships that have died as a result of my movements on social media, 
uh, were never beneficial to me in the first place so that's chilled but then one could argue I could have definitely uh, I, I definitely need a community and I have definitely isolated myself in not following people and not like in my movements on social media but at the end of the day it just makes me a lot more um, uh, what's it called like I self-reliant like I can rely on myself I don't really need anyone else to add to me um, which is something I did not have before at all it's interesting I tend to go from one extreme to the next extreme but hey dude we're growing and that's all that needs to happen like I don't want to ever because back in the days in high school dude my biggest fear was staying the same so if you've been following my, following me on social media you'll notice how I've gone through so many different stages in my like social media career because uh, what's the point of staying the same dude like if I learn something new and I find out that that old formula I wasn't using, I mean that I was using isn't working, why not change the formula? You know what I'm saying? There's really like nothing wrong with changing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with changing. And if my younger self could hear my older self saying that, honestly, like whoa, if I was, <laughs> I just wish I could talk to my younger self about how much I hated change. You know what I'm saying? But that is the end of this video guys don't worry there's gonna be another one on friday so make sure you subscribe and like this video so i know i must post on friday okay um i really like my hair and makeup for today uh i think it's fucking beautiful i hope you have a beautiful day and shout out to my 182 subscribers shout out to you guys thank you for watching bye